I came to Great Falls, Montana for the get of the century. Way more than a century, actually. Are you Walter? At 112, Walter Bruning is the oldest man in America. You're Walter, aren't you? Yes. I am Steve Hartman. Well, no, no, you, Steve. What makes Walter such a sought-after interview <laughs> is simply yeah, really. that he can be interviewed. Yeah. Typically, by the time someone gets to be the oldest man or woman in America, they either can't hear you or they answer every question with some crazy non sequitur about yesterday's lunch. But Walter still has every last marble, still remembers his grandfather talking about fighting in the war. Which war? The Civil War. He's the only man left born during the Cleveland administration. When you had no radio. Who can say where he was when McKinley got shot. That's when I got my first haircut. And there's a school I went to. Walter went to school under Teddy Roosevelt. Is that you? Seventh grade. And got his job with the railroad during Taft. $2.50 a week. How would you like that? Under Wilson, he signed up to serve in World War I, but never got called. And by the time the second war rolled around, he was already too old. Walter was married for 35 years, but Agnes has been dead for more than half a century now. They never had any kids, and he never took a second wife. Second marriages never work. Even first marriages don't work today. <laughs> Walter lives in an assisted living center, but needs no assistance. I go up to the store, up the bank. Although at this point, you need to know it wasn't necessarily my idea to get shots of Walter on his scooter, nor am I solely responsible for what almost happened next. I can see where I'm going. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. This is Fred Pfeiffer, local weatherman, friend of Walter. He set up the story. Why did you not tell me that he normally goes out on cloudy days? Because I didn't know. Hard to see. Hold on, Walter. Going off the cliff. Walter, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Apparently, Hard to see. bright sun blinds him. Yeah, let's turn around. We'll go back. That's good. But other than that. One scoop or two. And some One minor hearing two. difficulties. Yeah. OK. Walter is in perfect health. He's not on any medicine and normally watches what he eats. He credits his diet with his being here. Yeah. And especially if you keep that weight off there. Keep the weight off. Keep that weight off there. Words to live a long time by. You'll come back in four years or five years. I think I'll be here. Can I have the exclusive interview? Why, oh, hell, you sure can. <laughs> <laughs> and when that day comes, you can bet I won't be asking to see him on his scooter. He is so remarkable. He's like a walking, talking history book. I know. I hope he does some, you know, oral interviews so people can share them. Oh, yeah, he'll talk to, he'll really talk to any reporter who comes <laughs> knocking. It's just not many people want to go all the way to Great Falls. That's true. <laughs>